And good evening. School libraries could be put on notice if a student ends up with a book deemed to have obscene material. Yeah, it's an effort by state lawmakers to put restrictions on what books school libraries can and cannot have. New at 10, TMJ4, Sarah McGrew looks at what's behind the proposed law change and why one parent worries the bill could lead to book bans. Ann Zelke has always promoted reading with her soon to be in sixth grade daughter. I would say she is more of an avid reader than I am. She's been outspoken about books removed from the curriculum in the Muskego Norway School District and is now concerned about a proposed bill she feels could mean even more books removed from schools. You get to pick what is best for your kid. You don't get to choose what my child reads. She's referring to AB 308, a proposed bill authored by State Representative Scott Allen from Waukesha. The bottom line is what this bill does is it says you know, just because you happen to work for a school system does not make you immune from the liability associated with handing obscene materials to, to minors. The bill looks to overturn a law that protects employees of public, private, and tribal schools from prosecution of an obscene materials violation. It's one of those things where we know what's obscene when we see it. You know, it's hard for us to describe. For Anne, the vagueness of what is and isn't obscene is problematic. Where does it start and where does it end? And who gets to pick? Representative Allen also says what's considered obscene can vary. Each school district may have a different philosophical bent, moral bent as it relates to what would be in the purient, in, purient interests of the community. Kaslyn Magenson in Prescott, Wisconsin collaborates with PIN America, a nonprofit that pushes back against book bans across the country. When that legislation comes into play, as we've seen in Florida especially, um, large amounts of books are censored. They call it a chilling effect. PEN America says during the first half of the 2022-23 school year, there were nearly 1,500 instances of books banned. 30% were books about race, racism, or featured a character of color. 25% have LGBTQ plus characters or themes. The proposed bill has been referred to the Committee on Education, and if it were to be passed into law, it would take effect in 2024. However, Magnuson believes the governor would likely veto it. Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News. Sarah, thanks. And here's a look at the top five most banned books. This is according to PEN America. Each of these titles were banned in at least 10 or more districts this past school year. Among the top 11 books on the most banned list, four are written by authors of color and four by LGBTQ plus individuals. Identities historically underrepresented in publishing and in school libraries.